Cole. How long have you known that Miles was holding Manning? For a while now. Cole, please. Don't say another word. Let me handle this. Where is he, Cole? Where is he? You answer me, no, damn no, it! It's all right. Tell us everything, Cole, now. Star, I swear, I don't know where your dad is now. Oh, that's a lie. That's all you ever do, Cole, isn't it? Lie. You little liar. Blair, look, we're trying to get information. We need you to be patient and quiet. He said that Miles has my dad. How do you know that, Cole? He doesn't know. He's, he's talking nonsense. Shut up! Go ahead, Cole. I saw Miles holding your dad hostage. I saw it with my own eyes. What? When? A couple days ago. A couple days ago? A couple days ago and you didn't even tell me? Star, I have my reasons, okay? Good ones. Good reasons? How can you even say that? Miles had Todd, all right, in our, in our basement, in our storage room. He was drugged out of his mind, unconscious, but he was alive. All right, when your mom came over and we all went down there, I was sure we were going to find him, but he was gone. Miles must have moved him someplace. Now, where'd you move him, huh? Where is he? You son of a bitch! Where's the big dog? It's time we heard what you have to say about this. Huh? Cole is making this up. Every word of it. Sit down. You had Todd in that room. The only reason why I didn't say anything before is because you threatened to have my mother's murder confession turn into the police. And that's why I came here. Because I heard that you confessed to killing Spencer, and I wanted to confirm that for myself. And I came here because I thought that you might need a friend. You, uh, you want to take that? No. Star, I wanted to tell you about your father. I swear I did. But I had to protect my mama. You can understand that, right? What are you talking about? How could she understand something like that? Nobody understands what you did, Cole. When a man's life is at stake here? Cole, what time was it when you saw him with Manny? Do you know? Well, yes. Yeah, Star and I were supposed to go swimming, so sometime after lunch. <sighs> okay. And Lawrence took off in Marty's car shortly after that, so that means by the time I caught up with them, he'd already dumped Manning someplace. You found nothing in that car, no evidence whatsoever. I knew you were up to something. Look, I'm afraid of... I wasn't... I'm not used to cops pulling me over, okay? I... Excuse me. Todd... Todd Manning is alive. I just spoke to him on the phone. Alive and he called. What did, what did he say? I mean, oh my God. Where is he? What did he say, Mom? Mommy? He's alive. What That's did he alive. say? No, honey, he didn't uh, call me. He, I, I answered the phone, but it was your phone. You, you left it behind in your haste to get down here. But why are you so sure that it was Manny? Because I recognized his voice. Plus, he asked for Blair. He did. Did he say where he was? He tried to describe it, but um, uh, he said there was an official sign that said uh, fire in rings only, and then the phone went dead. Sounds like a campground. Yeah, but which one? Wait, why did the phone go dead? The signal sounded weak. Maybe he lost power? Miles, please, if you know where Todd is. I don't. Dr. Lord, did you happen to bring Blair's phone? Yes. Can I oh, see good. it, please? Absolutely. Last number still in there. Oh, Nothing. Line's dead. Look, I'm going to call the phone company, see which cell tower the uh, phone came from. Maybe that will limit our options. Well, what else did he say? Did, did he sound all right? Did... Honey, I already told you everything he said. His voice was weak. He sounded tired. What do you know about this, Lawrence? I'm not answering another question, not until my lawyer's present. In fact, I, I want to call him now. Really? Knock yourself out. I, I believe I'm entitled to a private phone call. 
Keep an eye on him, please. Why didn't you answer your phone? Look, I can't get into that right now. Just tell me what's going on. Have you, uh, have you found what we're looking for? I'm with Manning now. What should I do with him? I don't know. I of course you do, Miles. You've come too far to lose everything now. Look, I, I, I need a plan. And... That's no problem. We're both very good at making plans. We'll think of something. Is he conscious? He was until I cold cocked him, but he's not gonna stay that way for long. Everybody knows Manning's disturbed, Miles, erratic, alone. This isn't the first time he's brought misfortune upon himself. Why should this time be any different? Pretend you're me, Miles. What would I do? in this situation. Are you still there? Dude, what should I do? I got it, I got it. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. The number Manning called from is a cellular registered to, uh, Earl Baker. I don't... I don't know that name. Yeah. Well, I got in touch with the guy's wife, all right? And she said he's on some sort of camping trip up at Lake Lantano. It's a big space, but I'm heading up there now. Okay, well, I'll go with you. No. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? You're not going anywhere. I'm going with you. You can't stop me from going there. I'm going to go help you find Todd. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, 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 no sense fighting her. If Haven't she wants to follow you, I don't care she's about going Chicago, to do it, Lieutenant, all right? and she'd be better off with your protection. Yeah. Fine. Give me two minutes. Okay, I'm going to. No, sweetheart. No, you're not. Listen, you know, if, if Dad calls, I'll, I'll, call, I'll let you know, all right? Why can't him? I go? Because I want you to stay here with Dorian. He might call Aunt Dorian's, and you'll need to talk to him, okay? Please. So, uh, any luck on tracing Todd's call? Well, as a matter of fact, yeah. And we know where he is, so guess what? It's over for you, Miles Lawrence. Star, I really need to talk to you. Absolutely not. Oh, definitely not. She's going to be coming home with me. That's right. Oh, keep me posted, will you? I will. I will. We'll, uh, we'll keep Channel 6 clear. We can do about, uh, we can do about Marty. I'm gonna hold her for 48 hours, uh, whether or not we have enough to charge her with murder. That's Nora's call. And Lawrence? Oh, he's gonna end up in a cell. Don't worry about that. His case is more clear-cut. He should burn. All right. Hey. Let's go. Thank you. Lieutenant? Yes. I might add. We will, sweetie. We will. Come on.